I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, solitary fibrous tumor of the dura. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 50-year-old female presenting with worsening, throbbing headaches. The headaches are located within the frontal and occipital regions. On MRI, we see that there is an extra-axial lobular heterogeneous lesion within the posterior fossa. It has a dural attachment and has mixed solid, hemorrhagic, and cystic-like areas. Here on T1 weighted imaging, with contrast, we see that there's marked heterogeneous enhancement in the solid regions and a lack of enhancement in the necrotic areas. Here on CT with contrast, we again see this heterogeneous mass with a dural attachment in the posterior fossa. Here, with contrast, we see vascular structures within the lesion. On bone window, we can appreciate that the lesion erodes into the skull base. The features are suggestive of a solitary fibrous tumor of the dura, previously known as hemangiopericytoma, a lobular enhancing extraaxial mass with dural attachments, skull erosion, and flow voids. Solitary fibrous tumors of the dura may mimic meningiomas, but without calcifications or hyperostosis. A biopsy of the lesion was performed. Pathology reports a mesenchymal non-meningeal tumor, solitary fibrous tumor, or hemangiopericytoma.